the last video of our part B uh, help on project two sequence B.4. Example for PR2Q5. So in this one, I create a example very close to our question five of project two. Yeah. So you can use the method we used here, but you need to do some small change. Then you can get that question five. All right, so let's start. Yeah. This one, I still, I use that Duke example. So remember that Duke example, you know, very useful. Yeah. At this point, we have three versions. Version one, version two. Version one is the JavaScript version, JS version. Version two, JS plus Ajax. Right? So we use jQuery to call the backend Ajax, the version two. Version three, PHP version, you know, using the HTML form. All right, HTML form. Now version four. Version four, okay? PHP, yeah. Actually, we use the Ajax. Yeah. I modify from version two because it is very close to the version two. So, all right, plus database DB, version four, okay, yeah. So the first the program, I just uh, copy from version two, yeah, duke.html. I copy that file, duke.html, yeah, because in this one, we do not need to use the PHP feature. We do not need to use the PHP feature. So duke.html, we only, we use JavaScript in it. So we don't need a PHP, so that's why I do not use that duke.php file name. I still use the duke.html. But I only make one small change in the original version two example. In this function, JavaScript function, in, in this function, we use jQuery to call the backend PHP processing file, right? Yeah, that one. Now I only I change the name of the backend PHP processing file. The original one, the older version, uh, we use the duke.php. Duke.php. Okay, yeah, that one. But this one, because we need to do the database part, so we need a new PHP file. So I call it processdb.php. This file is also included in the zip file. Yeah. Oh, in the previous version. Yeah. Currently, you download that example 6b.zip. That one does not include this. This. Okay. Yeah. Example 6b.zip. Okay. The current version does not include this because I just created new one. But I will update. Okay. After you see this video, you need to download this file again to update it. Okay. Yeah. I also need to add two database script file, two DB script file. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, you need to update it. Okay. All right. Yeah. So now you can see. Yeah. That's the only change. Yeah. But here, I want to talk about your question five. When you modify this example for your question five, other than you send the message, right? Yeah, because the chatting, the chat program, every time uh, two users send chat message, right? Yeah one and another one we need to store that in the database all right so we need to modify the data we want to send yeah so let me do it this way okay 
First, which user send the message? You need to identify each user, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So you need to, for example, use your ID. Yeah. User one, you so use one. Okay. Yeah. User one. So, you, yeah. So use that, right? Yeah. All right. Then the message. Yeah. Then you know, the the variable of the message, right? Yeah, because you you get the this is the name name parameter name, but this. The variable contains the message, right? Yeah. So you need to send two parameters to the process db.php. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Two parameters. Yeah. In this way. Okay. Yeah. So this is the main part you need to modify for question five. Okay, UID and the message part. Yeah, two things. Yeah. All right, so you can call your own name, right? Yeah, message, for example, you can call the content if you want. Content, yeah. So my content, for example, my count, suppose that's the variable name, okay, whatever, right? Yeah, but that's user one, but sometimes for the user two, you may specify you know, two, okay, yeah. But for each one, so this field, you know, this name should be the same. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I think uh, you understand, okay, yeah, you understand. So the two users, two users both can send a message to the back end, right? But each user, they should use their own ID, ID one, ID two. Later, the ID number will be written into the database. Into the database, okay? Yeah, all right. You need to modify. The first file, you need to modify like this, okay? All right, the second one, processing part. Also pretty easy. Using what we have learned, MySQL, the basic queries, that part, we can put things together we can make it easily. Yeah. So let me show you. Process db.php. Yeah. In this one, first get the username. So that's for 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 the Duke part. Duke part will use the username. Okay. Yeah. For your question five, you may need to get two variables. UID is one. Yeah. For example, one is the UID, right? So dollar UID equals that filter thing. Right, you know, UID for example. All right, yeah. That one suppose. Let's assume you use message. Okay, MSG. Also, you use filter. Yeah. You know, MSG. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You do the change. For question five, okay, yeah, all right. Then the database connection part. Suppose you use the message DB database. Yeah, here for this example, I also create a message DB. Yeah, in my message DB, I only use two field. The first field ID, MSG underscore ID. Yeah, the second field I call content. So you see the content here, yeah, content, okay, yeah. But for your database, you may need to create a UID field. Yeah, user ID, one to the values. So you modify the database, okay, yeah, for your case. Yeah. Then we make connection, yeah, the standard way to do the connection, okay, all right. Then insertion, the message here, I don't have the UID, so I just insert the content. 
Okay, so then this part. Look at this part. Dollar U name because that is my variable part. Okay, a variable part. But you can see we put this variable value inside the single quotes. Okay, it's a string. String we have to place in a single quote. If you do not use that single quote, then you cannot get your data inserted. Yeah. For integer, you do not need to. Yeah. For example, for your case, you have your ID integer, right? Yeah. So for your case, you may write the message UID. Uh, let, let me assume you use MSG, for example. Oh, yeah, yeah, not MSG, still content. So you want to insert, you know, replace this part. Then the value part, okay, yeah. Value part, because UID is an integer. Integer quotes, with quotes or without quotes, both okay, okay, yeah. No quote is fine. For numbers, no quote is fine, okay. With quote also okay, yeah, you know. Then this part now you have to put in a quote, okay, a pair of uh you know quotes MSG. Suppose we use MSG. All right, yeah. So you modify like this. That's your insert statement, like this. Okay, yeah. Modify in this way. Yeah, but definitely you need to modify your DB script first. DB script in your database first. Okay, yeah. Adding this one. Yeah. All right. So after that, then you do the standard query. Yeah. So that's easy. The standard query. All right. Yeah. We just copy. Yeah. But standard query, remember, remove that echo part. In our example, we echo a message, but here we don't want to send that message back to our user. So I remove the echo part. Okay, yeah. Then, yeah, so at the end, yeah, here, yeah. Close the database connection and, and return a message. That is for this example, right? That is for this Duke example. We return, hello, the username. But for your question five, do you need to return any message? You don't need to return any message, right? You just write to the database. That's it. So in that case, you can echo empty string. You return empty string. Okay. You still return something, but nothing there. Yeah. So the receive side receive this, but it does not use it. Okay. Yeah. So. You can do it in this way, yeah. but still you you return it, okay? Yeah, yeah. All right. So that's the change you may need need to need to do for your question five. So you can see, but you need to understand it. Yeah. Here, I after my explanation, you need to understand what you should do. Then you can make the change, okay? All right, now let me show you the demo. Uh, then you can work by yourself. All right. Okay, yeah, so you know the code. So I will give you my code. Yeah, here, let me run it. Yeah, did I run it before? Yeah, hello. Yeah, let me shut down this. Okay. Yeah, all right. Let me shut down this. All right. Start it. Run. Yeah. So you see the interface. Yeah, we used. Okay. Right? All right. I already I tested many times. So this time I type message more more message okay i type several messages before here i type more message click all right yeah although we see here 
but we need to check our database this side okay. see i type my message first second time new message third time i type more message yeah see three more message okay yeah but what you will see you need to add a user id okay user uid user id whatever you call it yeah so then you can see user one user two user one yeah you know which message is produced you know by which user right yeah in that way yeah oh the last thing i want to show you yeah because after you submit so you may like to include your database script for this one yeah because in order you want to help me uh, uh test it yeah but because if i want to test it it's better to send me your database script right yeah so for that situation here i want to uh, show you how to generate the database script yeah export yeah so you get to this page you click your database script name first so we see you know your table listed here all right then you click export tab you click it okay you click it hmm? yeah so here you just take the quick way yeah so we do not need to configure so, so the format you know we do not we don't need to change anything you click a go yeah then it will download yeah here look at see you know message db the database name dot sql in some folder okay yeah you click so you get to that folder right downloads yeah but here i use the uh opera browser if you use different browser the way to download could be different yeah some browser just download by default to your downloads folder it does not ask you which folder to save in that case you need to go to your downloads folder then you copy paste to your project folder then you submit it you zip it and just upload it in canvas our project page yeah all right so that's everything i think i want to show you you know uh and i feel you have enough information to complete all the questions of your project too yeah uh, but uh, I will upload all these files, right, including two database scripts. Okay, so I just, you know, put in that folder, examples six b dot zip. Yeah, I will update that one. Yeah, older version. Yeah, I right now I added four more files, so I need to update that one. Then I add the video link. You know the powerpoint notes you know my explanation so then you should have everything okay all right so let me stop here yeah